case this My cell phone number charger don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted Episode of K for All TV You already know man, this is Prison Mills, this is K for All So I'ma go ahead and you know, get into it Today I'ma be breaking down I'ma make three different types of bowls for y'all You know, in prison, that's one of the main things that people are always eating Besides bricks and goulages, soup sandwiches You know, you actually find 101 ways to eat ramen noodles so uh i'm gonna go ahead and press start on this water and i'm gonna break it down to y'all and show y'all exactly what it is we're getting into right, now that i got the water going in the microwave um like i said i'm gonna be doing three bowls so i'm gonna break it down for y'all in three sections all right as you see for the standard one this is the one that i used to eat most commonly because it was so easy to put together that one only takes Shebangs, the famous prison chip, along with, you know, either beef, chicken, shrimp, whatever kind. And of course, gotta have that jelly. In prison, I used to pay $10, okay? You pay $10, and I was locked in with a guy that worked in the kitchen that would bring me bags of jelly. The bag was like the size of a pillow, all right? So that's gonna be the one right there. This one right here, you got Cheetos, cheese stick, we're gonna use chicken. Coarse chili to top it off, equal, okay? That's gonna be the second one. And then the third one, this is one when you really, you know, like probably like the day you hit canteen. So the day you filled your locker and everything, you know, you're gonna have to where you can eat you a good old meal. So of course, I'm gonna use beef, pickle, buffalo pieces, and pork skins, all right? So let's go ahead and start breaking these soups up. I'm gonna try to cook all three of them at the same time for y'all so that way y'all can see the finalist touch and how they end up coming out. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and break these soups down. Like I said, there's a million and one ways to eat ramen noodles. Some people call it ramen. I call it ramen. <laughs> you know? So what you want to do is you just go like this, get your first bowl, pour your soup in there, so just to the side, get your chips, you now you got to have your shebang, shebang is a mandatory on the canteen list, any camp you go to, if shebang is on there, Nine times out of ten, you'll be getting shebangs. Okay? Go ahead. Break this down in here while there's water in the microwave. And like I said, I'm used to making things like this in the dark. You know, like sitting there, you can't even see. So, I know it ain't that hard to follow along. Because like I said, in the dark. In a cell, the only light you have is the light that's from the outside, from the day room or wherever, that's shining in through your little rectangle window on the door. So I know if you can do it in the dark, you can go ahead and follow along how I'm doing this. You know what I'm saying? All right. Go ahead and add some seasoning. You never need the whole season pack, but it's up to you if that's what you want to add. All right. Got me a spoon right here. Go ahead and get this a little stir. And you know, um, it's kind of different out here, you know, you know, making these things when literally I had to survive on them. But, you know, you learn new things every day. And, you know, sometimes you adapt to a lot. So there's that first one right there. Let's go ahead and get this next ramen noodle broken now. Like I said, that's just the easy one right there. That's just the regular. They're all easy, but that's the most common one that I used to eat all the time. Because no matter when you look at my locker, I seem to always have soups and shebangs. It don't matter if I lost betting on a football game, you know, or what it may be. 
There was always soups and shebangs. Okay, break these Cheetos down. And like I said in a video before, there's been months I didn't go to the chow hall. Like lived straight off a of canteen, living straight off of these exact items you are seeing right here. Break these Cheetos down. Put that beef and cheese stick in there. And then of course, you know, when you add your water, you wanna place something over it, you know, so it doesn't, um, so, the, so it keeps as much heat in there as possible. That way, the more that way, you know, it doesn't take as long to cook. See, I got my beef and cheese stick, which is a mandatory. I got my scissors today. Remember, I showed y'all this before. What's your course in there? You're not using scissors. Just so that way, you know, saves time. I'm not gonna sit here and you know break this down piece by piece. You know what I'm saying? Make it take forever while I'm talking to y'all. You know, I'm trying to do it to you, show y'all the quick way, a quick route. So you just mix this on up. On canteen, you could buy a bowl. You're gonna have to replace them over and over again throughout your bid. That's just how it is. You're gonna just, you're gonna have to buy them. They're gonna get knocked off. They're gonna get misplaced. You know, you might come back and your bowl's missing, you, you know, people, the littlest things happen. Alrighty, there's that one. Let's get this last one on the roll. Now this one here with the pork skins, this one here is kind of cool because when you add the pork skins to it, when you add the water, you know, the pork skins actually turn into like a they, 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 they get softer like a meat. Like it turns into like, it's like you got like actual pork meat in there. Go ahead and add this. Boom. All right, I see I didn't put none in this one. I know I forgot something. Put that chicken in that one. Go ahead and give this a stir one more time. And y'all can stay tuned to the future videos. I ain't gonna only be doing, you know, prison meals. You know, I'll be doing other types of cooking videos too eventually. Good old pork skin. Barbecue flavor. I tried to get the country, uh, the country creek brand, the exact ones that we have, but you know, I couldn't find them, so go ahead, put the whole thing of pork skins in there, alright, now let me go ahead and get this water, and then we're going to add the water to it, alright, I got some water right here, fresh out of the microwave, Go ahead and mix this one up real quick. The water will do the rest. All right. So, you're gonna add your water. You know, you don't wanna put too much. You hear them things cracking? Them pork skins are cooking, boy. Just wanna make sure you got enough water to, so it'll blow up. A little more than that. All right. Mix it on up. Just like that. And then when I'm gonna go ahead and you know, like I said, you gotta cover it up for heat. Normally use a book, 
you know, you don't have a lid. I mean, I had a lid when I was at Charlotte. All right. Go ahead and add the water to this one. You basically want to add just enough to where it floats. So you can push it down like that if you have to. Just enough so it floats. All right, there's that one there. Add this lid. And then this final one right here. Good thing I made more water. I was prepared. I knew I was gonna need more than just that. All right, give it a good little whip like this. Now you have th all three of them sitting right here doing their job. All right, as we wait for these three to come to their final moments of cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the jelly for this one, the chili for this one, the buffalo pieces and the pickle for this one. All right, so as y'all know, I like to use jelly a lot. It's one of the main things. So I'm gonna get me a bag, which of course we don't use the bag in there, but I'm gonna use the bag here just to be more you know, safe with it. I'm gonna put some of this jelly in a bag. I do it this way so that way I can break it up better. You know, like once it's in the bag, it's easier to deal with rather than, you know, scooping it in and out of the jar. And we're going to stick that right there. And then I'm just going to break it up in the corner of this bag like this. Just so it's easier to come out of the bag when it's time to be used. It takes a couple seconds. All right. Of course, in prison, you don't care. You're more... Do, 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 do. You'll pour that shit right on there, you feel me? All right, so there's that. That'll go right there to the side. The chili. The chili's actually easy. You know, you can microwave this, but you don't have to. In prison, we don't have a microwave. But what we do do in prison, though, is the chili, they actually come in a pouch rather than in this cup. And, um... We run the pouch under hot water. You grab the pouch, stick it under the hot water faucet, and let hot water run on it. You know what I'm saying? Walk off, leave it there. You know, someone can steal your shit. Or, you know, people fuck with you, they won't. That's how it is. All right, and then this pickle, I'm going to go ahead and cut this pickle up. A lot of people know that the pickle juice is a main ingredient when it comes to cooking. It is up to y'all if you... You know, whatever you choose. If you choose to, you know, use the pickle juice or not. A lot of people do. I'm going to use these scissors. You know, you just cut it up in pieces. It ain't got to be perfect. In prison, you know, we have Powerade bottles or water bottles, whatever it is you have at your camp. And people, you know, always get a pickle and an onion and cut it down and put it inside that jar. And let it marinate. It's like the longer it sits there, the more potent it is. Anything you add it to tastes like Big Mac. It tastes like a Big Mac. Anything you add it to. This is a whole pickle. You ain't got to add a whole pickle if you don't want to. But I like pickles, so I'll add the whole thing. The reason I chose the bag for this is because I'm going to be mixing this with the buffalo pieces. So that way... Buffalo pieces can get soaked in the juice before I add it to the, you know, can't forget the equals. See, then you have these. Everybody knows about buffalo pieces. I like to add them like that. Add it to the bag like this. Move them around a little bit, just so that way they have time to soak in the juice while that one's cooking. And that's all, nothing major. Boom. All right. Let's see. All right, still got a little water in it. Still got a little water. 
pork skin one looks like it absorbed it already. So now we can probably start on this one and work, work our way back that way. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and add this to the pork skin one. I'm going to show you all with the camera what this looks like. So the first one's complete. We're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and add this chili and equal on top of this one. All right, this is our Cheeto one. Go ahead and put the chili on. That was a lot of chili, but YOLO. You know what I'm saying? And I go ahead and swirl it like that just to mix it all in there. This is a chubby boy bowl right here. And then to top it off, you already know. Equal game. Put your equal all on there. Bada boom, bada bing. There goes that one. We're going to let this one sit to the side with the other one. Waiting on the taste test. This one here, perfect. There's no water in there. Cut the tip of this jelly off. Go ahead and add the jelly. Just because it's easier to add like that once it's broken down. You'll find it a whole lot easier adding it like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this spoon to get this jelly all around it. And I used to eat this one the most. Just shebangs, chip, and jelly on top. Boom. There we have it. All three of them. Now let me clean this up, and we're going to get right into this taste test. All right, this is how this one turned out right here. You see the jelly inside there? On top of the shebang with the beef soup. The most common one I ate. Then you got the one with the Cheetos and the chili. And the equal. And then you got the one with the pork skins, the pickle, and the buffalo pieces. All three of them look like they're done. Now it's time to do the taste test. All right, y'all, here we are. The final moment. I'm going to go ahead and eat a couple of these, you know, take a couple bites. I'm doing this for y'all, not me. I know it's good. I've ate it over hundreds of times. But um, let's go ahead and um, jump into this one. We'll jump into the one. We'll work our way down. So this one right here, the pork skins with the pickle. Can't go wrong with it. The buffalo pieces will add a little like, you know, a little heat to it. You can even get the hot pickles if you like it hot. That one is awesome. All right. The Cheetos with the chili. People mostly make this when they're trying to fill themselves up. You know, like, man, I'm going to go ahead and get me a $3 chili. A dollar bag of Cheetos, a 60 cent soup, throw that shit all together, whatever, and I'm going to make sure I sleep good tonight. So this one here, is good too. You can even add pickle to this one if you want to. But this one, since I didn't 
crush the pickles all the way up. I mean, uh, the Cheetos. Still got crunchy pieces all in it or whatever. So, makes it real good as well. Mm-hmm. Both of them, I give a thumbs up. Now, this one, this was the main one that I was eating, so I know this one's off the chain. I might eat like six bites of this one. That, that jelly mixed with that, with the shebangs, it makes its own like glaze. Now, I remember, like I said, only thing being in my locker, once you run through everything at the, at the end of the week, because you can only spend $100 a week down here in the state of Florida. It don't matter if you have two grand in your, in your, you know, your account. Only a hundred is accessible on your card from Monday to Monday. So you're going to run out regardless. It doesn't matter how much money you are. I mean, you know, how much money you have. I had canteen in other people's lockers and everything. I put money in people's accounts just so I had lockers filled and stuff like that. Like I literally be like, boom, all right, bro, let me put 50 in your account, bro. I'll shoot you $10. All right, boom, drop 50 in his account. That's 40 more dollars because I run through it like this throughout the week because I like to eat good. That's how I am. I like to eat good. I'm going to eat good. Even in confinement. But at the end of the week, I'd always have shebangs and soups left. Because I get so many of them. I get two cases of soup. Two cases of soup. 24 in a case. That's 48 soups for one week. Eat five, six soups a day sometimes. Sometimes you don't eat no soup. Sometimes you eat a lot of them. Sometimes you don't. But anyways, there y'all have it. I just broke it down to the three main bowls that I'm familiar with eating. But don't get me wrong. There's 101 ways to make it. Anyways, y'all go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Stay tuned for some more cooking videos in the future. And y'all stay tuned for them giveaways. I got a couple more giveaways coming up, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day, man. It's us